Hi, I'm Jake Spirek, and this is my very first YouTube video. Um, I've learned a lot on YouTube. As uh, anybody who's used YouTube knows, um, you can learn just about anything on there. Um, and I've been meaning to make some tutorial videos for a long time, and one of my friends said, okay, you've got until your birthday in August to create your YouTube channel and have at least three videos up there. So this is video one of three, at least. <laughs> um, so today I just want to show you a little intro to Integromat um, for those who have been using Zapier and are looking at an alternative. Um, so Fraser McLeod on Twitter asked for, you know, just a, a 101 kind of intro. And so while I'm going to try to give an intro, um, it might be, I might be showing a little something too advanced, <laughs> uh, but it's giving me a way to show what I like about Integromat. And so um, don't get overwhelmed by all of the steps in here, but it's something that uh, I think is interesting. And I just want to show you a couple things. So the very first thing that I like about Integromat is that it is very um, just visual. Like I can see everything, I can zoom out. Um, if I have a bunch of branches, um, in logic here. So I can say like, um, you know, in, in, in Zapier, you would use paths and, you know, so if, if this is true, do this thing, if it's, you know, false, do this or whatever, um, you can add multiple branches like this. Um, and in Zapier, I just get very, like, it gets confusing when you have to like drill into one path and here's the outcome, and here's a new set of um, actions. Whereas here, I just see it all at once, and I can just zoom in and kind of see or move things around the way I like. Um, so I really like working that way. Um, and another thing you can do is you can shift select um, multiple things at once, um, although for some reason these ones don't work that same way. Um, but if I wanted to you know, do a branch of um, all of this stuff here. I can just do Command C, Command V, and now I have those for a whole nother set. So I could do that router again, and I could branch it off and do this, and then just make some tweaks to it, and boom. Um, I could copy this into a whole nother scenario and reuse those, um, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna delete these. Um, so that's a, a relatively new feature, um, and one that I haven't I did not fully appreciate until recently when I needed that. Um, and so that's pretty cool. Um, they do have something in the works where I could, you know, branch off for uh, a different scenario like this and then have it reconverge um, to do the final actions. Um, still waiting on that feature, but um, they've added some other ones in the, in the meantime. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, one of the things they added was when you are looking at one of these modules, you can actually search. Um, it's going a little slow today. Um, so when I come in here, I can search through uh, my items that are available. So you know, if I'm looking for something specific, um, you know, things like that. Uh, that's another feature that they added uh, recently. Um, one of the things that's super cool is you can do logic in line in one of the fields that you're um, adding. So if I wanted to say like, if this is empty, do this, or if it's not, or if it, you know, if it's not empty, give me this, uh, you know, show me this. And then if it is empty, give me something else. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can do a lot of different uh, text functions in here. So ones that I use a lot are like capitalize, lowercase. Um, I've used split to create an array right from here. Which brings me to one of the number one things that I cannot stand about Zapier, 
and I can't believe they still haven't fixed this. Um, you can't deal with arrays unless you write code. Um, obviously, it's not that big of a deal to write a little bit of code in in Zapier, which is you know one of the things that um, the Zapier does have that uh, Integramat doesn't right now is you know the code uh, modules that you can add in. So that that's helpful sometimes, you know, when you just can't do it any other way, but just like a little bit of code. And that's what is great about low code, you know, scenarios. So I'll give them that, but man, I can't believe that they can't handle arrays. Like, so what uh, Integramat has, so let's just say like I have something that I wanted to split off into an array. Um, I can do that and then I can um, do an iteration. So this will cycle through the array and we can do multiple actions on that array. Then you can do an aggregator, which will take all of those things and bring them back down into one thing. Um, so that in itself is huge. Here's an example of me uh, splitting this off um, into an array. So I wanna take um, a string that is coming from our form. So taking the full name, and then um, I wanna split it by the space character. And so what this does is it spits out an array. So um, I'll show it to you in a sec, but um, we can also do some cool regex, um, which I use a lot. Um, my friend Matt hates regex, um, but <laughs> there's so much you can do with it. Um, so if I hit run, um, I'm gonna come over to here. Um, this is where I work. We do cool no code projects. Um, so I'm gonna submit this and it comes through here. One of the things that um, can be a little bit frustrating with Integramat is uh, when you're doing the initial tests, um, you have to uh, submit, you know, like when I'm building this, I have to submit the form a bunch of times. Um, there are ways to get around this. Um, so in my webhook here, if I click on this and I go over here and do download output bundles, um, what I could do is actually um, copy this over into uh, Postman, for example. And I was just doing this uh, yesterday. I'll just show you. So um, basically all I wanted to do was just trigger something from um, uh, from ClickUp. And so I just would hit send a bunch of times. So, you know, if I'm trying to uh, do this, let's just duplicate this and oops. And then I can just paste this in. Let's make that pretty. And then uh, what I need is my webhook URL. I'll save that. I still have that. Okay. So the nice thing is that now it's already formatted um, exactly how I need it for um, this test, and I can submit it multiple times. So <clears throat> one of the things, so I'll just say that, that is a strength of Zapier, is that normally, like when you do that first form submission, you have access to that as many times as you um, do your test. So Integramat, you guys need to fix that. Like that is such a pain. Um, so this is my little workaround um, so that I don't have to keep filling out that form a million times. Um, so what I do is I come over here and it's taking in um, the first name. So it, this is the way this works is you can, um, you can do a search here. So I can do like name and it's coming in here from the form. So that's right here. And the way I added this split was over here in the text functions, you can do split. And what this is doing is splitting on a certain character. And these functions are very similar to what you would see like in Excel, um, where it's got a couple arguments in the parentheses. And so 
what I'm doing is I've got the, the input, which is the name, and then it's going to uh, split into an array based on spaces. So um, my first name and then my last name with a space in the middle, it'll split on that. So what it outputs, if I click on any of these little white bubbles, um, I can see what happens in the output. So now it's split out the name into an array. So I've got um, two items in that array. And in Tagramat, just so you know, um, <laughs> usually with arrays, they start with zero. Um, but in Integramat, um, they start with one. So that is a little bit more natural for people that aren't used to coding, um, but it is a little funky when you're already used to working with any kind of code in arrays. So <clears throat> that is just an example of um, how you can use uh, inline uh, logic and text functions and array functions and all kinds of stuff that you can do without adding extra steps. Um, so what this one's doing is this one is just doing a, a little bit of um, regex and it can be super simple and all it's doing in this one is grabbing um, an ID at the end of a URL. And so I'll probably do some regex videos at some point, um, but that's super powerful. I, you know, I have a love hate relationship with regex because it's not very easy to read. Um, but that's why I just use like uh, regexer or regex101.com. Um, and it makes it a whole lot easier to, to build. Um, so then, yeah, I just have um, some different steps here. One cool thing is you can create JSON um, and, you know, do, th do uh, you can just go in here. You can, if you have existing JSON, you can use the, ge the generator. Like, so for my example here, I could just copy that and paste that in and it'll uh, build out the structure accordingly. You know, so in this case, um, that's actually how I made this one as a, I just pasted it in um, because in this next step, it needs um, JSON here. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but one of the cool things um, about Integramat that I think a lot of people don't, um, when they're just getting started, they don't realize the power here. So this um, one right here, if you scroll to the bottom of just about, well, I don't want to say all, but a lot of the modules that are available for different apps in Integramat have this one down here um, to make an API call. So if the thing doesn't exist here, um, get used to Googling the, the API docs for um, whatever you're trying to do, because a lot of times there are API routes that um, aren't available in the module, um, but they are available via the API. So ClickUp, for example. Um, and the reason I really got into Integramat is because um, the, the module for ClickUp has so many more features than the Zapier one. Um, you know, Zapier can't even see the custom fields. Um, but one of the things that I use a lot is the API call. So I can go over to ClickUp API hop over here and don't, you know, your eyes might glaze over when you see API docs. But the cool thing is I don't have to deal with any of this authentication because I've already authenticated um, when I set up my original scenario. And so it's doing it with, it's doing these API calls with that same authentication already taken care of. And so when you're first setting these up, I mean, it's, it's very similar to Zapier where you go in, you create a new connection and you put in, you know, you authenticate with OAuth or however you, however they need it. And it's very um, simple compared to what you have to do normally whenever you want to connect to an API. Um, so all that to say, there are things in here that don't exist in, um, the built-in module. So that's pretty cool. Um, on that note, um, if you use Webflow, which is what we use for our contact form, or we use for our website rather, um, uh, there are some tricks here that you, that aren't available in the normal um, 
Webflow module in Integromat or Zapier for all I know. Um, because, so let me just hop over here. So normally in, I'm in my Webflow settings here. Normally you have form submission or site publish as a way to um, trigger an action, a webhook. And so uh, that's great for what our scenario is here with the contact form. Um, but let's just say you have a blog and every time you submit um, you create a new blog post um, and you want to run a scenario. Um, these guys down here aren't available unless you do, um, if you use the Webflow API. So all you got to do is use their create webhook. And so if you use Integromat, you can actually come over here, type in Webflow. and then scroll to the bottom and then make an API call. So it'll use the connection that you set up to make that API call. And sometimes I'll just create a new scenario just for that little thing um, to get a couple of things. So in this example, we need the site ID. Well, the cool thing is all I got to do is come over here, do list sites. And even if I only use this once, you know, I could use it in the scenario every time and just, you know, in case that I need to like uh, switch sites dynamically or whatever. Um, but I could also just make a quick one, um, do list sites, grab that ID, and then use that in the API call, um, you know, however it works for you. Um, anyway, so I know I kind of like went off on a tangent on this API thing, but it's pretty cool because like once you create this with the trigger type of collection item created or connect collection item changed. So like if the blog gets updated, do this. Um, an example of what I did with the collection item created is we had a, um, a site that had a bunch of videos. And so they were hosted on Vimeo and each one, you know, we wanted to be able to pull in the, uh, the thumbnail without having to do it manually. I hate doing thing, things manually, <laughs> um, which is why I'm doing this video. <laughs> um, but what I did was um, I used, when it was created, um, look for the Vimeo URL in one of the fields, and then it would run an Integromat scenario that connected to the, the Vimeo API, again, using the Vimeo uh, module here with the API to grab the, um, the thumbnail from the video and upload that into Webflow in the CMS item. So now it had the, uh, the thumbnail. So all these kind of ways that you can, um, really take advantage of these APIs without doing complicated authentication methods. Um, it's all taken care of for you by Integromat. So, um, what else can I say? Yeah, it, it, it might be a little scary at first, um, just cause it's different. Um, and you know, design wise, it's maybe not the prettiest, um, at first, but just, um, once you start seeing the power here, it's. I couldn't go back. <laughs> um, anyway, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, I probably sparked more questions than I answered, um, but that's great. If you have a question, um, there is a submit idea form um, built on ClickUp. <laughs> um, you could submit that with any questions you have, and I will try to find some time to answer them. And uh, yeah. So hopefully this was helpful and hopefully I make more than one video. I need to make two more before August. So submit them now. 